So while we wait for Lisa and Karel, uh, do you all have the worksheet with you? Yes. Yes. Okay, good, good. Did you read any of it yet? Yes. Elizabeth? Yes. Yeah. Is it is it stuff that you already know or is it maybe new stuff to learn? Is it is it new or did you see it in math class already? We see it. We see it. We saw it. You've seen it, okay. You have seen it or you saw it. Okay, good. So it won't be it won't be crazy new stuff for you. Good. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes math can be very difficult if you, if you see stuff that is brand new. Okay, good. Did, uh, did any of you solve the riddle? Do you know how to kill the monster, kill the blob? Mm, no. No? Okay. We'll, we'll work on it together. That's, uh, that's, uh, sometimes, sometimes it's difficult to not read ahead and not try to figure it out. So um, when uh, sometimes when people read books, for example, when they're reading a book, they're reading and then sometimes they'll go all the way to the end just to see how the story ends. So, but none of you, none of you do that, right? No? Uh. When you, when you read a book, do you ever skip to the end to see how the story ends? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, okay, Arena doesn't do it, but sometimes Jane does it. Okay, good. Okay. So we're all here, good. So we're going to talk about the unstoppable blob um, should we, I guess we can just start with the worksheet, okay? Um, does anybody have any questions? No. No? no? Okay. So we could just start right away and see how this works. Okay. So here we have our worksheet, the unstoppable blob. So an unstoppable blob has landed on Earth and is eating everything in sight, everything that it can see it eats. We need to use a satellite mounted nano fission ray to cut the blob into smaller pieces to destroy it. We only have time to make seven straight cuts and we must do it while the blob is sleeping as a triangle. In the end, we need every remaining triangle to be an acute triangle. If any obtuse triangles remain, the blob will awaken and destroy Earth. Okay. So, pretty interesting riddle. Did anybody try it? Did anybody draw triangles and try to cut them up? Nobody, nobody tried any of this? So, so for example, here you have, I can draw a triangle, right? And then I can start cutting. Hmm, I need to cut a line here, and maybe I put a line here. Nobody did this? Yes, I did. Okay, you did. Did you, did you find a way to kill the blob? No. <laughs> no? Okay. It's very difficult and we'll, yeah. we'll see why. Very difficult. Okay. So before we, before we learn about triangles, let's learn a little bit of English. What does it mean to creep? It means to move very slowly, very quietly, okay. creeping along. Where did we see this word before? Do you remember? Mm. The very first week, there was a spider. a spider. A spider creeps, right? A spider moves very slowly and creepily, right? Good. What does it mean to glide? Have any of you heard this word before? 
maybe uh, in uh, where skating is. Yeah. Glide. Yeah, perfect. So when you're ice skating, you're gliding, you're moving very, very uh, kind of easily and very quickly. And there's almost no effort, right? So when you're ice skating, or maybe when you're skiing, or maybe when you're uh, when you're on roller skates, on roller blades, you're gliding through. Good. How about extreme? What is extreme? Anybody heard this one? Let me let me ask you this. If it is 20 degrees outside, is that extreme or is that normal? Normal. Normal, okay. What if it's 40 degrees outside? Is that extreme or is that normal? Extreme. Extreme, right? What if it's minus 50 degrees outside? Is that extreme or is that normal? Very extreme. Very extreme, yes. okay, good. Where do we, where do we, uh, where do we find minus 50 degrees? Where, where can you find temperatures that extreme? No. Nowhere, not even Siberia or maybe the North Pole. What do you call the, the continent on the bottom of the earth? Africa. Africa's further south than Africa, way down on the bottom. Antarctica, do you guys know this? Mm -hmm. Antarctica, there you find extreme temperatures, right? Okay, good. Uh, how about this word, a rampage? Have you guys heard this word before? No. No, okay. So sometimes when I wake up, I'm angry and I go on a rampage. Oh, I hate everything. Wow. So you go through and you destroy everything. Ah, I'm on a rampage. So hopefully you guys don't do that. But a rampage is kind of um, uh, a way to um, destroy things, right? It's this, it's this path to destroy things. Uh, maybe if you have a, a little brother or maybe a dog, the dog will go on a rampage sometimes. What does it mean to expand? Mm. I'm expanding. I'm twice the size. Nobody, nobody knows this word? It means to get bigger, to expand. So for example, when you blow a balloon, the balloon expands, right? Um, good. What would, uh, what does it mean to be breathtaking? This is an adjective. Mm, we, I don't know. You don't know. It means to take your breath, right? So to take your breath, something would need to be excite, exciting, right? Or extraordinary, or maybe special in some way. Ooh, that's breathtaking, right? So say you were sleeping uh, New Year's Eve, and you woke up and you saw Diet Moroz. <gasps> oh, that's breathtaking, right? Okay. Have Have any of you seen Diet Moroz before? Mm. No, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> no. No. Okay. no. All right. What is a ray? Mm. In... Sun. Sun ray is. Yeah, a sun ray is a perfect example. So a sun ray is one ray from the sun. In geometry, it will be a line that comes from a point, right? Uh, if I can draw it, I will draw it very quickly. So a ray looks like this, right? So it starts at a point and it goes forever and ever and ever in that direction. That's why there's an arrow on that side. Line, line hasn't got end. You're yeah, right. yeah, it only has one end, right? Exactly. It can also be something that comes from a ray gun, right? 
So when, uh, when we're talking about our satellite mounted nano fission ray, this is a special laser that will cut the blob. Okay. How about inert? I am inert right now. What am I doing? Sleeping. Sleeping, right? <laughs> Sleeping. So inert is either sleeping or dead or inactive or just not moving, right? Inert is just good. What does it mean to consume? Mm. Mm. Eat, maybe. Yes, to mm -hmm. eat. Usually to eat and drink everything in sight, right? Um, sometimes it can be figurative, uh, kind of in an imaginary way, but in this case, it will be literal in a real way. So eating. So this blob will be eating everything, right? What is a portion? This beautiful triangle, right? Mm -hmm. This is a portion of the triangle. This is a portion of the triangle. This is a portion of the triangle. Maybe a piece? Yeah, piece? a piece, right? One, one, part. a part. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, and if you have a, like a pizza or a cake or a pie, it would be one slice of the pie. Good. Okay, good. Uh, let's see, Lisa, what's the answer to number one? Far beyond normal or the most? Which word should I put here? Lisa? I don't know. You don't know? Jane, do you know? Maybe. Mm. I'll give you a hint. It starts with an E. Oh. You know, okay. Expand, you know? Maybe. Extreme. Sorry, Jane, what did you say? Expand. Uh, extreme, extreme. Uh. Uh, so Arena had it right, extreme. So far beyond normal. So normal is 20 degrees, 40 degrees is extreme, right? Good. What, uh, let's see, Kirill, which one is to move slowly with a little effort? Mm, to creep. Sorry? To creep. To creep would mean to move slowly, right? Like a spider. Which one means to move smoothly? Like to glide. No, very slow. So. Good, good. To glide. This one is to glide. Uh, yeah, when you're when you're creeping, you're moving very slowly. Uh, let's see, Lisa, do you know number three? Amazing or surprising? Yes, uh, maybe breathtaking. Good, yeah, breathtaking. Good. Uh, Arena, what is number four? To move slowly. Um, like a spider. Do you know, Arena? Um, no. No, Jane, do you know? To creep. to creep, right. To move slowly, usually to avoid being heard or seen, right? So spiders, they don't want you to see them. They don't want you to hear them. And that's why they creep very slowly. Okay. Good. Uh, let's see, Uliana, which one would be to be asleep or inactive? Be inert. Yeah, inert. inert. Good. All right, Jane, which one is one piece of? Mm, one piece of is a, por a portion. Yeah, a portion, good, good. And then let's see, uh, Kirill, which one is violent, destructive behavior? Mm. Uh, I rampage. A rampage, good, a rampage. 
Kadil, do you go on a rampage every morning when you wake up? No. Break things. Ah, I go on rampage when I get a bad mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's a good time to go on a rampage. When you get a bad mark, you go to your teacher and say, I want a good mark. Ah, right? Good. Uh, let's see, Jane, which one is a laser or in geometry, a line that starts from a point? It's a ray. A ray, good. All right, and then Lisa, which one means to grow larger and larger and larger? Maybe uh, to expand. Yeah, maybe. It's definitely to expand. Good job. And then uh, let's see, who wants the last one? To consume. To consume. Good. All right. So now you know all of these words, and we will hear the word in the riddle when we when we listen to the riddle. Okay. But before we talk about the riddle, let's talk a little bit about triangles. Okay. So some of you already know all of this, right? But if I add every angle inside a triangle, it will add up to be 180 degrees. Or if you're very smart, it, it adds up to pi radians, right? Pi radians. But we're, we're gonna do easy geometry, okay? We'll do 180 degrees. So if I add A and B and C, I get 180 degrees. A and B and C, 180 degrees, okay? So if the green triangle here has angles A equals 45 degrees, so this one is 45 degrees, and B equals 90 degrees, how big is angle C? Does anybody have a guess? Should I get out? Should I get out my calculator? Maybe, maybe thirty-five. Maybe thirty-five. Let's do some math and let's figure it out. Okay, so I'll get out my um, my paintbrush. Where's my paint? Just a regular paintbrush. Okay, so A is how much? Forty-five, right? Forty-five. Right, and then I add 90, right? Yeah. How, much, how much is that? 135. Right, 135, okay. Now I need to take 180 and subtract 135. Oh, my writing is very bad with a mouse. <laughs> okay, there we go. So in the first column, we get... Five. Five, yeah, and then we carry the one, so this will be seven, and we get four, right? So the last angle is 45 degrees. So Jane, you were very, very close, uh, but it was just 10 degrees off. Oops, uh, 45, come on, I think I can't, okay, 45 degrees. And I have to copy this little symbol here. Good. Okay. So now we know, uh, let's see, how to do, how to figure out angles if we need it. We might not need it. Okay. Um, okay. And so if one angle is 90 degrees, we call that a right triangle. If one angle is larger than 90 degrees, we call that an obtuse triangle. And if all angles are smaller than 90 degrees, we call that an acute triangle, okay? So what color triangle is the right triangle out of these three? Which one has an angle that is equal to 90 degrees? Green. The green one, right? Mm -hmm green, or we can say the green triangle. Okay, good. Okay, is it possible, do you think, uh, to have a triangle that has two angles that are at 90 degrees? Mm -hmm. So if I, if I draw, I'll make a new, uh, a new screen here. If I draw a line, it's not a perfect line. Oh, I can make it a perfect line, actually. Here, I'll draw a line. 
right? And then 90 degrees means exactly perpendicular, right? So if I draw a line that is exactly perpendicular, it would look something like this, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So if this is 90 degrees, and we can make a little box here to show that. And then we draw a second line that is 90 degrees, right? Something like, uh, something like this. Then these two lines here will never, ever, ever meet. They will never cross. And so we can't make a triangle with two 90 degree angles, right? And the same thing happens if we try to make a triangle with one obtuse angle. If we make another obtuse angle, then, then this piece and this piece will never meet, right? So if I make this obtuse, it's just going to go off into a crazy land. But if I make it acute, this is an acute angle and this is an acute angle then we have a triangle, right? So in this case, in the green triangle, we can only have one angle that's at 90 degrees. With the obtuse triangle, we can only have one angle that is greater than or larger than 90 degrees. Okay? And with the acute, all three have to be smaller than 90 degrees. So what color triangle is the acute triangle? Mm, blue. The blue one has an angle here larger than 90 degrees. Oh. Right? Yeah. So, so this angle is larger than 90 degrees. So that would be this one here, right? It would be obtuse. Mm. Red. <laughs> yeah, so, so it has to be the, the red one, right? The red triangle. Hello. Hmm? Okay. And then uh, the last one is the blue triangle. Okay. So this one is acute. This one is acute. This one is acute. They're all smaller than 90 degrees. Okay. If it helps you to imagine 90 degrees, try to imagine a little box, okay? So when I drew it, I drew a little box here. And that means 90 degrees, okay? So uh, sometimes that helps you visualize it. Okay? Let's try uh, question number five. Let's try naming these. Is this acute? Obtuse or right? This yellow mm. triangle. Uh, Nasty. What do you think? It's acute. Yeah, this one. This one is acute. An acute triangle. Let's put it in bold. Mm -hmm. Acute triangle. Uh, let's see, Jane. What kind of triangle is this one? It's right. Very good. It's a right triangle. Okay, good. Uh, Lisa, what kind of triangle is this one? Um, obtuse. Yeah, this one is an, an obtuse triangle. Okay, good. Arina, what kind of triangle is this brown one here? Um, a right triangle. Well, Wait, this one is this one is very close, but it's a little bit larger, right? Mm -hmm. so, so what kind? It's acute. Acute would be smaller, right? This angle, this angle is larger than 90 degrees. Obtuse. Yeah, so this one is an obtuse triangle. Okay. Uh, let's see, Kirill, what kind of triangle is this red one here? Obtuse. All of the angles are smaller than 90 degrees, right? Mm, and acute. Yeah, this okay. one is a huge triangle. Okay, good. And then who do we have left? Uh, Uliana, are you still uh, around? Yeah, right. Yeah, this one is a right triangle. Okay. 
So sometimes it's hard to just see uh, that a triangle is obtuse or right or acute, but um, most triangles will be acute triangles. And if it's a right triangle, it's a very special kind and obtuse triangles are very wide, right? Very wide. Okay, so we are going to listen to the riddle right now. Okay, so we're gonna listen to the first half of the video to understand what we must do to destroy the blob. The blob becomes an obtuse triangle when it is sleeping. We can cut the blob seven times with straight lines while it is sleeping. Uh, if all of the triangles remain after cutting it are acute triangles, then we kill the blob. So how should we cut it to kill it completely? Okay, so when we cut, when we cut the blob, we want to turn it into these triangles with small angles because those triangles with small angles, they're going to die. They're going to become inert, right? But all of these triangles that are obtuse, they will wake up and they will eat, eat things again, okay? So let's listen to the video and see what we have here. All right, let's go to the video. A shooting star crashes on Earth and a hideous blob emerges. It creeps and leaps. It glides and slides. It's also unstoppable. Weapons, fire, extreme temperatures, no matter what you throw at it, it just regrows and continues its rampage. Its expansion is breathtaking. It doubles in size every hour. But there is one opportunity. After each hour, it goes to sleep, forming itself into a flat triangle and resting for a few minutes before it begins eating and growing again. Your only chance to save the planet involves a satellite-mounted nano-fission ray that can cut through the blob. When the blob is active, it heals itself within seconds. However, when you break the sleeping blob into two triangles, you make a critical discovery. The acute triangle portion, with all angles less than 90 degrees, is inert. It never wakes up. The obtuse triangle, which has an angle greater than 90 degrees, wakes up as usual and keeps growing. Similar experiments show that all shapes other than acute triangles, including right triangles, will also wake up. For the next few minutes, the blob is sleeping in its obtuse triangle form. You can make clean, straight line cuts between any two points on or inside the triangle, but you'll only have time to make sudden cuts while the satellite is above you. By the time it completes its orbit and returns, the blob will have consumed the entire world, if even a single portion that will wake up remains. How can you cut the blob entirely into acute triangles and stop it from destroying the planet? Okay, so there is our riddle. Sounds very complicated, right? Sounds very difficult. So, yeah, so this is why it's difficult, okay? And I will show you very quickly. Well, uh, we could take our time. So this is an obtuse triangle, right? And we need to make acute triangles, acute triangles. If we make acute triangles, they will all die, right? So this angle over here, I can paint it with a brush, so I'll paint it with a brush. This angle over here is less than 90 degrees, so it is acute, right? Yeah. So I, I will label it A. This angle over here is also less than 90 degrees, so I will also label this one A. But this angle here is greater than 90 degrees. And so this one we would call obtuse, right? So this angle, we have to cut in half somehow, okay? And so I will cut it in half. And the first time I will cut it in half, I will cut it in this direction, okay? So now this angle, Go back to my brush. This angle is acute 
and this angle is acute, right? Yeah. So they're, they're both smaller than 90 degrees. This angle here is acute, but what happens over here? Oh my gosh, we have an obtuse angle again, right? So let's, uh, let's quick go through this. I'll make a new layer and I will draw the new triangle. All right, so, so I'll draw a line here and I will draw a line here, here, and I will draw a line here. All right, and then I'm going to wipe away this part because this part is dead, right? Poor sad guy, <laughs> dies. But this part here is going to be important. Right? So I'll wipe all of that away. And we will look at this. Okay, so I select this. And now I, I will turn it so that it looks like what we had before. And maybe I can move it. So I'm already through one cut, right? But we're at the same problem again, right? It's the same, it's the same problem. We start over. So for example, if I decide to cut it, I'm going to cut it again. Should I go this way or should I go this way? Who wants to go right? Who wants to go on the right side? Anybody? Does anybody want to go on the left side again? Do you think it matters? Uliana, should I cut it to the, to the right or to the left? Maybe left. Okay, so I'll go to the left, right? And let's label all of our angles again, okay? So this one here is acute or obtuse? Anybody can answer, anybody. This one is acute, right? Smaller than 90 degrees. How about this one? Is it smaller than 90 degrees? Acute. Yeah, this one's acute as well. And this one? Mm, acute. Acute. And so this side, bleh, this side dies. It becomes inert, right? Good. But look on this side. What is this angle? Acute. Acute. And? Oh, not obtuse. Oh, obtuse, right? Not acute. Okay. So let's, let's wipe away that other piece and see if we can figure out what to do with this one. Uh, let me get the line tool. Okay. So I'll make a line here. And I'll make a line here, and I'll make a line here, and then I will wipe away the dead part, right? Let's get rid of the dead part. Okay. And so now, in order to look at this carefully and try to do this again, I'm going to turn it. So there we go, turned, move it in the middle. Maybe rotate it just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, and what kind of triangle is this? Acute. Mm. This one, this angle is greater than 90 degrees, remember? So it's this, obtuse. Yeah, it's obtuse, it's obtuse. And so this angle over here, uh, let me get the paintbrush, paintbrush. Okay, so this angle over here is acute. Yes, it's acute. And this acute. one is acute, and this one is obtuse. And so we need to cut this angle in half. So let's try it one more time. Uh, Kirill, should I go right or left? Mm. Or does it matter? It doesn't really matter, right? 
Yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter because if I go this way, then we have an obtuse angle over here. And if I go this way, oops, <laughs> that's a curvy line, right? Very, very strange line. Um, if we go this way, then the obtuse angle is over here, right? So every, every time we make a cut, oh, we make another obtuse triangle. And even if a small piece remains, it's going to wake up and it's going to start eating everything again, right? Yes. So it seems like there's no way to solve this problem, but I have a solution, okay? And we have to think about pizza. So let's think about pizza. Here's a pizza that you're going to share with three friends. Oh, let me make sure I don't have anything missing. Okay. Ah, uh, so in question number one, which angle do we have to cut into at least two pieces? Is it angle A, angle B, or angle C? If we, a. Yeah, A, angle A, because angle B and angle C are already small, so there's no reason to cut them again, right? We can leave them. Okay, good. So in question number two, we're going to share a pizza with three friends, and so we need to make four pieces total. So how would you cut this pizza? Uh, let's see, Kirill, Kirill would probably cut the pizza something like this and maybe something like this and maybe something like this. Like this and like this. <laughs> you wouldn't cut it like this? So you give your friend this piece and this piece and this piece and then you, <laughs> this piece. you eat that piece? That's, that's how I would cut it. Okay, but I'm very selfish, right? I'm very stingy. Remember that word, stingy. Okay, so actually, uh, Arina, how would you cut it? Would you cut it maybe like this? This and like this. Okay, like this and like this. So, easy peasy, right? Yes. We can, we can say that we're making two cuts. Or if we want to be a little more sophisticated, we could say I'm making four cuts, right? One to the middle, one to the middle, one to the middle, and one to the middle, okay? Good. And so everybody gets an equal portion, right? Now, this is going to be a little more difficult, but now we're going to share with five friends. And I made the pizza a little bit transparent so you can see through. Also, you can, you can draw on here. Uh, just take with a, a marker. marker. So go ahead and, and draw however you would, you would cut it up. Okay. Now we have a pizza with five friends. So how would you cut this pizza? And I will let each of you make one cut, okay? So Jane, tell me where would the first, where would you make the first cut? Mm, maybe. From, from here maybe, or here, or here, or here. Maybe. Um, play. Are you, are you wanna? You want to go all the way across, like, like, uh, oops, sorry. Um, yeah, yeah. So something like this? No. No, okay. Would you start here? Yes. Okay. And down. And down, and tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay, so you would stop in the middle, right? Yes. Okay, good. And then let's see, Uliana, where would you make the second cut? Mm, the second line is uh, mm, mm, the, mm, go, mm, from here, maybe, or from here, or mm. from here. Hmm? From here. From here? Yeah. Okay. And where would you go from here? Would you cut across? 
Or to here? Uh, no, middle. Okay, you would cut to the center, cut to the middle. Good. Kirill, where would you make this the third cut? From. Maybe from here? Yes, from here to the middle. Okay, to the middle. Easy. All right. Uh, Arina, where would you make the fourth cut? Maybe from here? Uh, it's from the middle. Okay. Uh, to. Out here? Mm, yes, yes. Or this, or this one, or maybe to her nose. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Okay, so we'll yeah. cut like that. Good. And then Lisa, where would I make the last cut? In the middle to girl. Okay. Uh, with brown hairs. Yes. Okay. Just straight to her, or maybe a little bit down over here. Yes. Probably a little bit down, right? So she has a so she has a good good piece, right? A good size piece. Okay, good. So everybody has kind of an equal portion, right? So if we go over here, we can draw that on our wonderful pizza right here. So go ahead and if you have a marker, draw it out, see how that works, okay? Now, what's nice about these triangles here? These are almost triangles, right? The only difference between these and triangles is that triangles will have straight edges, right? So you'll have a straight edge here, a straight edge here, a straight edge here, and a straight edge here, and a straight edge here, right? So even though these are curved edges, we can imagine them as triangles. Uh, let's see, Lisa, what kind of triangle is this triangle? If I look at, if I Maybe look at, if you would, yeah, hey, look at this. All three angles are smaller than 90 degrees. So this is an acute triangle. Good. Kirill, uh, what kind of triangle would this one be? If I look at this. Acute. One? Yeah, this one is also acute. Good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jane, what kind of triangle would this one be? Mm, acute. Yeah, good. And Arena, what kind of triangle would this one be? Let's go. Cute. Yeah, this one is acute as well. So they are all acute, right? So if we could somehow cut the blob up like a pizza, then we might kill him, right? So let's imagine our good friend, the blob. Uh, let's see. Do I have a picture of him? Oh, I thought I had a picture. Maybe I don't. No, I don't. All right, let's see. Here. Ah, here we go. Let's say that over. So I will open the blob picture. Is it in here? Yeah, it's in here. Okay, and let's cut it up like we're sharing it with four other friends. Okay. So if I remember right, tell me if I'm doing this wrong, okay? When I start making a cut that isn't right, tell me. So that one's right, yeah? Yeah, yes. Okay. Uh, how about this one? Mm, yes. Yes. Huh? It's too long though, it's too long. I have to go just to the center, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> How about this one? Yes. Okay, good. How about this cut? Is that cut good? No. No, oh, all right, okay. Not that cut. Uh, where should I go from here if I start from here? Uliana, should I go over here? No. Should I go over here? No. To the center of the pizza? Yes. Yes. Okay, good, good. And then, Arina, if I start over here, should I cut over this way? No, in the middle. To the middle of the pizza, right? Yes. Good. Okay, so we have, where are all of our acute angles? 
Oops, I don't want to do that. Uh, this. Oh, don't I have black? I have black. Yeah, okay. So I have an angle here. Let me make the brush a little bit smaller. Okay, so I have an angle here, and I have an angle here, and I have an angle here. So this is a triangle, right? Yes. Is it, is it an acute triangle, an obtuse triangle, or a right triangle? Acute. Acute. Yeah, this one is acute, okay? And so is this one here, right? Acute. Yes. This one's acute. But this one over here isn't quite a triangle, right? So if I look at this one here, I have a line here, and I have, oops, and I have a line here. Oh my gosh. And I have a line here. And if I zoom out a little bit, I can move it over, move it in. And I have a line here, and I have a line here, right? How can I make this parallelogram? No, it's not a parallelogram. This uh, four-sided, <laughs> how can I make this four-sided shape into two triangles? Where should I cut? Mm. Does anybody have any guesses where I should cut? If I caught here, will that make two triangles? No. 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 Okay. In the end of one, <laughs> yes. At the end of one, so up here, okay. And should I go over here? And go down to the second. Angle. So this, yeah, to this, what do we call a vertex or a corner, right? So I go from this corner to this corner, right? Good. And I wanna make this a little bit nicer. Okay, so now we have a triangle here and a triangle here. Let's look at the angles. Uh, this one is less than 90 degrees, right? So this one is acute. 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 And this is an acute triangle. Yes, all right. What about this angle? Acute. 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 And this one here. Acute. 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 And this is an acute triangle. Yes. Acute. We're, we're killing the blob. Look at the blob. He's dying. Uh, right? Yes. <laughs> so we killed this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece. And also, if you look down here, this is a triangle, right? So yeah. we have an acute, acute. angle here. Acute. 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 And Dead. Good. All right. We should make it in red, right? Like he's bleeding. Okay. So how many cuts have we made so far? How many times did we cut the triangle? Six. Seven. Six, uh, almost seven times. Six times, right? There's one cut here, 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 and one cut here, and I'll turn this one red as well. Oops. Okay, so we have six cuts so far. Where should we make the very last cut, our seventh cut? In the first corner in the left. Okay, so first corner in the left. And go down to yeah. the second corner. Oh, no. the second corner. Yes. Down to his face? No. No, yes. <laughs> okay. No problem. Okay, and here we go. Acute. 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 Dead. Right. Uh, and acute. Acute. And acute. And dead. All right. Good job, everybody. We killed the triangle. Okay. So if you want, you can draw all of this here. Okay. So we cut the blob like a pizza, and then we added two more cuts and then made him into a bunch of acute triangles. 
So let's listen in to the video and see if we are correct, okay? While this seems doable at first, there's a hidden difficulty when it comes to avoiding obtuse and right angles. Every time you make a cut that reaches an edge, it either makes an acute and an obtuse angle, or two right angles. That makes it seem like you're doomed to keep creating obtuse angles. But as with so many of life's problems, we can look to pizza for inspiration. Imagine squaring off the outside of a pizza so that instead of a circle, it's an octagon. When we cut it into slices, each of the eight triangles is acute. This works with larger polygons, too. Importantly, it also works for some polygons with fewer sides, including heptagons, hexagons, and pentagons. Just to pause it very quickly, he's using a lot of... Um words that you might know from geometry, right? Heptagon. Have you guys heard this word? Heptagon. It's a, it's a shape with seven sides. Heptagon. And he called this a hexagon. Hexagon. See the word okay. there? Have you seen this word before or no? No. No. Okay. And then he called this a pentagon. This is a shape with five sides. This is how we made our pizza, like the pentagon, okay? You might see this in geometry. You'll probably never see it in regular English, though. Okay? That's good news, because if you cut off the sharp corners of the blob triangle, a pentagon is exactly what you'll be left with. And just like a pizza, you can cut the blob pentagon into five acute triangles. That's seven cuts and it renders the blob completely inert. You've saved the day. Now you just need to figure out what to do with all of these giant, practically indestructible triangles. Here's a bonus riddle for you. Are triangles the best shape? Just kidding, that's not a riddle, but it is worth discussing. Okay, what do you guys think? Are triangles the best shape? Mm. Maybe. What's your what's your favorite shape? Do you have a favorite shape? Yes. Yeah. What's your a circle? <laughs> okay. So a uh, circle is Arena's favorite shape. So when you go ice skating, do you always skate in a circle to try to make a circle? Mm, yes. Yeah, in the ice. Okay. Good. Uh, Jane, do you have a favorite shape? Mm, maybe. I don't know. I have thoughts. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, Nastia, do you have a favorite shape? I don't know. You don't know? All right. Lisa, do you have a favorite shape? Yes. It's a cute triangle. A cute triangle. Okay. And um, do you guys know the word acute actually means very sharp or very quick, right? So uh, the word acute means like if you have a headache, for example, uh, I have an acute headache, it means I got a headache very, very sharp, it hurts a lot, right? Um, or acute can be two words, right? So uh, if, I, if I write it, let me write it really quickly. Mm -hmm. a cute triangle. <laughs> it's very pretty, right? A very cute yes. triangle. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, do you guys also know that obtuse means um, not very not very smart, right? So, yes. <laughs> so if you call somebody obtuse, it means they're not very smart. So this triangle right here, he's kind of not very smart. And this one, oh, it's so, sorry? Obtuse, it's uh, stupid in Russian too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so in, it's the same in English if you call somebody obtuse. Is obtuse appearance or personality? It's um, personality. Personality, right. So uh, here, <laughs> here it's how it looks, but an obtuse person is He's not clever. Not clever, right? So that's personality. Good. Okay. Um, so when you when you listen to this video, 
Um, do you think this man speaks very quickly? Is it easy to understand him? Mm, um, hmm? Kiddo? Almost. Is it easy to understand him? Yes or no? Almost. Almost. A little? Yes. Do you? Okay. Um. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, Jane, do you think he speaks too quickly? Mm, no. 50. Okay. Okay, so you understand most of it? Yes. Okay, does it help? Do you read the subtitles down here? Yes. Okay, okay, so that helps a lot. Uh, because when I make these videos, I always make sure to get the subtitles, these, uh, these, this text down here, so you can understand. Okay, uh, Arena, can you understand him or do you think he speaks too quickly? Yes, I'm un I am understand, but um there is sometimes difficult yeah sometimes difficult he uses yes. yeah, he uses very um very hard words right sometimes he uses words yes. that you don't know yeah okay so um yeah whenever we do one of these riddles uh i will i will make sure to get the subtitles definitely get the subtitles and then um and then we will always go over some of the vocabulary like we do. Okay. Um, okay. So how do you feel about these riddles? Are they easy or are they hard? Easy. You know? easy? Jane says easy. Very hard, but then very easy. Okay. At first very hard, then, then it's easy, right? As long as you have some help, right? Learn how to think about it. Okay. Arena, uh, how do you find these riddles? Fun? Yes, it's fun. Okay, good. Uliana, are these riddles fun or boring? Yes. They're fun? Okay. Nastya, uh, do you like these riddles? Yes, they are very fun. Okay, good. And then Lisa, do you like these riddles? Yes. Okay. So we will, we will, they have many of these riddles and we will do one every once in a while, okay? Uh, next week, I want to do something a little different, okay? Next week, we're going to watch uh, a small, a short video, but it won't, it won't have any words in it, okay? And uh, since it doesn't have any words in it, then we'll have to try to talk about what we see in the video, okay? It's a very cute cartoon. And I will show you the worksheet. I already made the worksheet for it. Uh, it's, a, it's a cute cartoon about this girl, okay? And this girl has a, has a dog with her and there will be a, a special event. Something will happen. And we'll watch the video and see what happens. She's half magic. She's half magic, yeah, good. She looks like a, a wizard or a witch, right? She's got a... She's got a wizard hat here and a magic wand. Okay, good. Um, and then, let's see. I also want to talk about superstitions. Do you guys know what superstitions are? Yes. Okay. What is a superstition that you might have? Maybe if you see a black cat, it's bad luck. What about this one? This one is, uh, maybe you don't know this one. Whenever you drink a bottle and it's empty, don't put it on the table, but put it on the floor. Have you heard this one? Yeah. No? Uh, Arena, have you heard this one? Uh, repeat, please. Um, there is a superstition. When you finish a bottle, you don't put it on the table, but you put it on the floor. Have you heard? I know this. You know this. Okay, so Arena knows it. Jane doesn't know it. Nastia, do you, have you heard this one? I don't do that. <laughs> you don't know this one? Kirill, have you heard this one? No. No? All right. Uh, here's one. When you give flowers, how many flowers should you give? Uncountable. Hmm? Uncountable? Yes. <laughs> A million billion flowers? Okay, uh, so I heard, uh, I heard that there is a superstition in Russian, uh, in Russia, that when you give flowers, 
you only give an odd number of flowers. You give one flower, or you give three flowers, or you give five, five flowers. Seven. You, yeah, yeah you, okay. Yeah. Exactly. We don't, we don't a present two flowers to birthday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, this for you. Yeah, okay, okay. So you just give them, you don't. You don't think. How about this one? What is happening in this picture? Um, black cat is crossing uh -huh. the road. Uh, uh -huh. And he's dropping a mirror, right? <laughs> and, he's, and he's walking under a ladder. So there's a lot of bad superstitions here. Okay. Uh, do you guys have this superstition? If you walk under a ladder, it's bad luck? No. No? Okay. This one's very popular in the United States. So don't walk under a ladder. It's very bad luck. How about this one? Well, doesn't see to the mirror. Yeah. Don't look into a broken mirror, right? How many years of bad luck do you get? 20. 20, okay. In, in the United States, you only get seven years bad luck. But. Why don't we see uh, the broken mirror? So it's a superstition. It's not real. It's just something that everybody thinks, right? So if, if you look in the mirror, you will have bad luck. Okay. Mm. Yeah. But it's it's not it's not a real thing, right? So <laughs> probably Maybe my mom say because my yeah. mom say I don't look to the mirror. Yeah, exactly. Your mom tells you to not look into it. Yes. Good. How about Friday the 13th? It's, it's a very it's always a crazy day. Crazy day. Lucky day. Mm -hmm. yes. Good. And then this one, when you still... Um, people laugh. Uh, okay. Okay. I heard that when you spill salt, it means that you will have a fight with, uh, with someone in your family who will argue with someone in your family. Yes. Yeah. You've heard this one? Yes. Yes. Good. How about opening an umbrella inside, indoors? No, no. You don't have this one? All right. How about whistling indoors? Yes, we yeah. haven't, you haven't got money. <laughs> oh, okay. So when you whistle indoors, you don't have any money. Okay, yes. good. How about, how about when your hands itch, what will happen? Oh, my hands itch. Does that mean anything? I I heard that it means that you will get money. So if your hands itch and you're whistling, you will, you will get the money and then you will lose it. Right? <laughs> right. How about Where's my money? Yeah, Where's exactly. My money? Where's my money? How about if your ears burn? Have you heard this mm -hmm. one? It means someone is talking about you, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Have you heard this one before? Ah, my ears are burning. And someone says, ah, someone's talking about you. Okay, good. So next week, um, if, we, if we finish the video uh, about the girl, then we will, then we will uh, talk about a man who does all of the bad superstitions and it gives him good luck, right? So we'll read a story about that. Does that sound good? Yes. Okay. Good. So that I think is everything for this week. Do you guys have any questions? No. No? Okay, good. So we killed the blob. Good job, everybody. So you can uh, you can sleep easy. You don't have to worry about the blob coming and creeping and eating every one of you. Uh, thank you for coming to the lesson this week. And I will see you all next week. Okay? Okay. 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 All right. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.